My name is Sharon Green. I'm associate professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School in the Division of Infectious Diseases. I study uh, the pathogenesis of West Nile virus and uh, protection against West Nile virus with vaccines. What that means is that I'm interested in what it is that makes some people get sick from West Nile virus and how we can prevent it. This year we seem to have quite a large number of cases of West Nile virus uh, at a much earlier time in the year than has been seen in previous years. Uh, the biggest epidemic here was in 2003 where there were uh, almost 9,000 cases reported. This year we now have 1,590 cases with 65 cases of, of death. Uh, and that is concerning because it is so early in the year that this is actually going to be the biggest epidemic year seen. It is not clear at the moment why. I suspect that will be a big cause of uh, research for people in the future. However, Early on, they're thinking climate change may be the cause. There's been a lot of drought, and uh, what happens in a drought is you wind up with these small pools of recurring water related to dry, wet, dry, wet, and the, the Culex mosquitoes really like kind of grungy water that's sitting around, and so there's been a lot more virus. The heat is helping the virus to replicate in the birds as well as in the mosquitoes. And then man is what we call a dead end host. We get it by accident. The best way to protect yourself is to protect yourself from getting bitten by a mosquito. Uh, these mosquitoes tend to bite at dawn and dusk. So avoidance of, of uh, exposure to the outdoors is the best way. If you have to be outdoors, long sleeves, long pants, and an effective uh, mosquito repellent, uh, DEET, tends to be the best recommended, but go to www.cdc.gov for full information on that. If you are bitten by a mosquito that's carrying West Nile virus, the good news is that four out of five times, you're not gonna get sick at all. In the 20% of people who do get infected, you s we see an illness called West Nile fever, which is a flu-like illness characterized by fever, headache, uh, possibly a rash on the, the front and back of your, your body, uh, swollen lymph nodes, and it usually lasts only a few days, although sometimes it can develop uh, into a chronic fatigue type syndrome. Uh, only one in 150 people will go on to the severe type of West Nile, which is called neuroinvasive disease, which can uh, be meningitis, encephalitis, or a paralytic polio-like syndrome. So anyone who develops a fever with stiff neck, headache, change in mental status, convulsions, um, tremors, should seek immediate care. In my laboratory, we're very interested in why people get sick from West Nile virus. We study uh, the antibody responses and the responses of the cellular immune system called T cells because uh, studies in our labs and others have shown that if a good immune system is the best protection against West Nile virus. And that is why older people tend to have a more difficult time with the disease. So uh, I have uh, been working with another uh, researcher at UMass, Trudy Morrison, in developing a new West Nile virus vaccine uh, based on what we call a, a virus-like particle. Uh, in addition, I've worked with uh, other uh, vaccine companies to look and see whether their vaccines are producing immune responses in people.